in the middle of the wilderness. And whichever group survives the longest with that 500 grand. I give you all three days. That money's all ours. That is your side of the woods. And that is your side of the woods. And you are not at any point allowed to cross sides or you'll be disqualified. You should go start prepping for your first night. We out. Maybe the odds be entered in your favor. Men or women, let's see who wins. There's no way the girls are beating us. They not five men. <laughs> How do you think the guys are doing? Terrible. They probably stopped by now. We're not gonna survive, we're gonna thrive. As long as we're good being a little hungry. Oh yeah, we'll be fine. Oh, we got strawberries. What? Woo! Anything that's around here is on our food list. I'm already seeing a shelter in my head. There it is. This would be a shelter. Welcome home, brother. And miles away on the other side, the girls found a spot to set up their camp. The water looks pretty bad right here, so I'm hoping we can follow it back and maybe find a clean source to gather from. This is nice. Yeah, this might be the spot, you guys. Things might be going smooth now, but compared to all my other videos, this challenge might be the most brutal one that I have ever filmed. Okay, let's know. I would regret it. It's so hard out here. I just heard someone move in there, bro. I don't think we're alone out here. Okay, let's check what supplies we have. Fruit, granola, sausage. Dude, you got all the meat. I also gave each of them a water bottle and some key survival gear. That's not a lot of food. We're gonna have to figure out how long we wanna stretch this. Attention, can all of you hear me? We hear you loud and clear. We're all here. I just wanna make sure we're all on the same page on how this challenge works. To make things more interesting, if a person leaves this challenge, they will still get their share of the prize money. The only thing that matters is which team lives in these woods the longest. What? We were not expecting that. No one ever does. It's up to each of you to decide whether you stay to help your teammates or leave to save them more food. Also, for this entire challenge, you will never know how many men are still left on their side and the men will have no idea how many women are left on your side. It's a game of strategy. This will be fun. That food goes a lot further for like two people than five. Or are we really only going to be able to sustain one or two people? Cross that bridge when we get there. If anybody does quit, I do not hold it against you. I will 100% hold it against you. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> Come on, bro. Hey, after that first week, I think it's strategy. Like we got strategize. Yeah. 100%. Hey, we're a team, bro. We're making it. We're staying. Girl thrill, boy thrill. <laughs> for the rest of the night, both camps began constructing their shelters to prepare for any upcoming storms. And the guys built theirs out of the first twigs they found. We have a whole TP built and everything. The girls are not doing that. Actually, they are. And they're doing it way better than the boys. And up. We got it. I'm going to try and get a fire craft. Hey! Bet we beat the guys in that. There we go. There we go. Let's go. What a freaking start of a journey, boys. Night number one was kind of rough. It took me a long time to go to sleep. Good morning. We need more walls for the TP still. Let's get making our house. I think the girls are doing way better than the boys right now. We are going through the woods because we need water. And to get clean water, the boys had to travel miles through an undrinkable, filthy swamp. I hope the girls have to go through something like this. I'm not gonna lie, you can't see anything in this water. And I do not want to drink swamp water. Well, over a mile and a half, two mile walk. <laughs> it's day two. And after <laughs> hours of searching, the boys finally found a water source. Finally. By day three, the women had a crazy strategy. Self-eliminate some of their teammates so those who stay had more food to consume. If we as a team want to win this, diving into this is not sustainable, even for two people. I would like to have two people here at least till the end. I would agree. Yeah. And it was very clear to the whole team who those two girls would be. Phaedra and Julia are our survival mommies, and so we kind of are at their beck and call to help and do whatever we need. The boys, on the other hand, had absolutely no clue whatsoever. We are definitely not rationing it. Like, no. There's no talk of strategy amongst us. Five people is a lot of people, like, not for that food stash. We can't last to the end with five people. Day four, Josh and I were talking about us having to be the providers while they are the entertainers. TJ and I were carrying the weight. Just been building, 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 building for the team. And there's those three still sitting around the fire doing nothing. They just want to be served. Josh, were you going to tell us if the food was done? Yeah. When? Did you know the food was done? Nope. I know I went only one. Hey, I thought so. Silence. By this point, the boys weren't even a week into the challenge, and they were already teaming up against one of their own. I will directly say to Josh, it looks like you're chilling all day. And then we're burning God's amounts of energy day in and day out. And that hurt a lot. I mean, if anything, Pat burning these calories that he's so tired about doing backflips and showing off in front of the camera. So it made me contemplate today whether I really want to do this anymore. While tension was making some of the boys consider leaving, the women were ready to do the same, but only as part of their strategy. This food load might have to change. It can't change. We're still not getting into rations. 
it is time to start as a team sending people home for the goal of winning. It can't be more than two people touching the rations. Yeah. So we have a team decided that it's time for me to go home. This is Hannah and I'm ready to leave. We will discreetly evacuate you out of the forest without alerting the boys. Let's do it with a discreet monster truck. <laughs> We're about to pull up on their camp for the first elimination. I'm going to step away as a team strategy. It makes sense. More food for the other four. Well, let's get you out of here. I love you winning. If the women end up winning, you're the smartest one here. You're the first out, but you'll get a hundred grand. A lot of people have said, okay, I'll just left. Well, Hannah can consider herself lucky because for the next two days, intense rainstorms force both of the teams to stay in their shelters and survive solely on their rations. We definitely can't live off this food for much longer. So come day 10, I decided to throw in a twist. And if you've ever seen one of my videos, you know that means it's time for a challenge. But to make it even more intense, every 10 days, the boys and girls will have to elect a leader to face each other. And we're going to kick things off by visiting the girls. Hey! Hi! It's day 10. What do you think that means? You're going to give us some great news. It depends. Oh. I need you to pick a leader and face one of the boys for a potential prize. I'll meet you at the bridge in an hour, whoever you pick. This is where we take the video up a notch. We choose Phaedra. Let's go see how the boys are doing. Welcome to the men's camp. Oh, you guys look so official. I need you guys to elect a leader that in one hour will meet me at the bridge. Unanimously. Killer P. Man, I'm feeling like I shouldn't be confident. Inside, I feel a little scared. Come on in. These walks are so dramatic. Congratulations on surviving 10 days. How's it going? Really well, actually. And remember, they have no idea how many people are still left on the opposing team. How many women do you think are still in? There's three. How many men do you think are left? I'm going to say three, too. The funny thing is, both of them are completely wrong. And neither will know the truth until this video is uploaded. This challenge is simple. You're going to take turns firing at that target. And hanging from beneath the target is a bag full of perishable food. If you hit the target, it'll drop it. But if you miss, move it to the other side, she will then get an opportunity to try to win it. I'm so good at archery. I'm definitely second guessing this decision of sending Patrick and not me. Oh, Phaedra is going to kill it. Absolutely. Whatever lands on, fires first. <gasps> not in the water! Mid! Okay. Fire away. Shot number one. We're out of here. Have you ever shot an arrow before? I have not. Oh, all right. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching the Super Bowl. Yeah. First time shooting an arrow? Oh, first time shooting an arrow. Bro, what happened? Swing it, miss. Move the target to the other side. Let's see if the women's team can make it. Whoa, she's taking the jacket off. Oh, it's go time. Phaedra, your team desperately needs those rations. Will you be the one to bring them home? watching the Hunger Games. <laughs> All right, let's go grab it. <laughs> Cheers to victory. Yeah! Got to a shot of the boys. They're struggling. Yeah. So you also need to eat a lot and quickly. I believe she keeps saying y'all. So, we had, wait, wait, we had to dip into our rations after the rain. And looking at this, this is primarily perishable. So although it adds for a while, it's not going to add long term. And so we had the conversation that I would go. You're thinking about leaving right now? Yes. Conveniently, I'm already here if you just want to hitch a ride back. Yeah, no. And so with a toast to Feastables and hugs to say goodbye. Bye, divas! We'll see you on the outside. The women's team was down to just three survivors, while the men's team still had all five. I know we can win this entire challenge for her. I do too. And Hannah. With plenty of food and one less person to split it with, the girls' morale was through the roof. I'm feeling really good, really optimistic. We've been really pushing ourselves hard, so to be able to have this meal is going to mean a lot. Cheers, guys. Mm, delicious. However, losing the challenge took a real toll on TJ. I'm beating myself up pretty badly about the archery competition. Everyone thought it should have been me. Unanimously, Killer P. Killer P? I should have stepped up when I had the chance. But when I was sitting on that chair and I saw the bows and arrows, I just thought, it should have been me. The next challenge will be me. The girls enjoyed their abundance of food for the next few days. Cheers. The boys, unfortunately, had to still catch their food. Let's go, me. No! No way!
With their rations running dangerously low at this point, the boys' team was starting to become hopeless. Bro, Cam, I'm so glad that I got you here, bro. I know I may seem sluggish and stuff, but this is all mental. Like, I have nothing in me. The pressure had really started to get to Cameron. And while Sammy tried to lift his spirits a little, by the morning of day 13, he had already made up his mind. The sleep deprivation has taken its toll. I set my breaking point. I'm proud of you, bro. Hold it down, man. I appreciate the journey, man. Hi, Cam. That was a big bummer losing Cam today. How's today for a dark day? But the boys weren't the only ones taking a loss. Today is Kelly's day. We're going to miss her very much. Here we are. While the girls were leaving strategically with half a million dollars in mind, the boys, on the other hand, were leaving from the difficulty. I'm so defeated. I'm grateful for this. It's just, this is freaking tough. Just had a breakdown, bro. Do you think you can make it to the next challenge? Oh, uh, no. It's about to break me, bro. Like, <laughs> come on, bro. Make it look. So after draining his remaining calories upgrading their shelter, the boys went to bed and made the radio call in the morning. What up, boys? I got a message on the walkie. That's gonna have to be mine to explain, Jimmy. I'm not gonna be the big macho man and say this isn't hard. All right, everyone, let's walk him out of the challenge. Come on. Leaving the boys' camp for the last time, Sammy gave the guys a parting gift. You want the t-shirt? I'll take the t-shirt. The literal clothes on his back. Let's get those shirts. Now that you've taken everything from this man, is he free to go? <laughs> He's free to go. He is now in the Sherpa, which means he is officially eliminated. Carl, get him out of here. Now we're down to three. Is the trend gonna continue? Two days from now, we're gonna be at one? Absolutely not. Just two weeks into the challenge, and we have already lost half the players. And things are only going to get worse. I looked at that truck that picked him up, and my first thought was jealousy. I don't know if I can make it to the end. With Josh already on the verge of quitting, things got even harder as a massive storm rolled in. Oh, 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 it's raining right here. Unlike the girls, who can sleep soundly in their well-built shelter, back at the boys' camp, their home was not equipped to handle all this rain. This is not how I want this to end. The torrential downpours continued for the next two days. My raincoat had drenched through, and my whole belly was soaking wet in my waders, and my pants were soaking wet. I was, like, ready to quit. The rain has finally cleared up, and Mama Phaedra is making us a little breakfast this morning. We got a little beef stew. It's delicious. I bet the boys aren't enjoying a happy meal. I bet they're not. Bad news ran into my worst enemy, poison ivy. It's spreading everywhere and unbearably painful. I start wondering if my time here is coming up. We're in a better spot than the guys. Has to be, right? Not a lot of people can take this for a long amount of time. Hey, guys. We need to talk. The things I wanted to do, I definitely did. And at some point, there is just the need to get out. The selfish part of me says, you quit, I get a bigger meal. Hey, this is Josh at Men's Camp. I think I am ready to go today. And just like that, Josh was out. Uh, Josh! Hop on in. Let's go, Carl! Let's hit the road! I'm gonna say this, like, honestly, but I believe 100% we just got stronger. We have enough food to last us as long as possible, plus win all the challenges. That's a pretty bold statement. So let's put that claim to the test. What day is it, Chandler? It's Friday. It's day 20. Which means it's time for our second challenge. Alert, alert! Pick a captain and send them to the bridge. Easy work. All right, I'll see you in a minute, okay? Sounds good. I'm gonna show her that no matter what, she will never win. Since both of you didn't come last time, I need to make it clear, you step across the middle, you're eliminated. Which may affect your team's chances of winning $500,000. Chandler, can you give me something to mark the middle? Okay, we'll yes. put it back. Yeah, there we go. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. My team and I are offering you and whoever's still at camp $50,000 if your team quits right now. Oh. Sounds like you might be scared that you might not make it to the 500K. Anyone else feel the tension here? Woo. We'll see in day 33 when it's all over. You're only giving yourself till day 33? I'm giving you till day 33. Okay. Whoa. You guys are being as nice as possible. Also talking so much smack at the same time. <laughs> well, let's bring it together. So, because the storms are decimating your shelters, and this challenge, you're going to be competing for your own ginormous tent. This thing is waterproof. Hurricane season's coming in, so this will be clutch. Would you want something like this? I mean, I'll take it, but if the guys get this taste of comfort, maybe they'll leave. Or it can make them last longer. Doubt it. Oh, this is very nice. It's decision time! So, this is different than the last challenge because both your teams could win a tent. I'm going to be in that tent. It would sit really nicely right there. All you have to do is eliminate yourself. 
if Julia does take this, we won't have one more night together. That'll be hard. Since the women won the first challenge, I need you to make your decision first. Oh, no, come on, Julia. Do you want to eliminate yourself so your team can have that tent? I'm gonna take the tent. Whoa, okay. So it looks like I am now officially by myself. I honestly can't believe you took that. Now it's your turn. Which is more important, you or that tent? All right, my team. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. That was crazy. Wait, 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 wait. I think it would really be huge for the overall strategy and, and the win, but um, I thought I was actually gonna get a chance to give her a hug goodbye. This isn't 100% rainproof. That could really end the competition. My whole mood has just changed. Back at the bridge, while Phaedra was gathering her new tent, TJ secretly stayed behind to investigate. Wait, no way. And what he found was like striking gold. It's weird send only one person to pick up that tent. Now I know there's only one woman left. She will not outlast the two of us. I gotta tell Pat. Patrick, are you awake? I spied on them and it's one person left, the person that you win against on that first challenge. And we have two, less food, less shelter. Now that you say it like that, I feel like I made the wrong decision. Would you have preferred the tent or me? The tent. Unfortunately for TJ, the intel he gathered at the bridge seemed to only make matters more tense for the boys. He turned down dry shelter to come back. What kind of brother would do that? The TJ. If he would have took the tent, it would have sealed the deal. Because we all know shelter is everything. And at the girls' camp, Phaedra was officially carrying the team, setting up her brand new tent in just a few hours. Look at that. <laughs> it's awesome. Just in case people are wondering who's going to win this. Nice and cool in here. No bugs. There is more room than I know what to do with in here. While Phaedra had more room, the boys, on the other hand, were betting on each other to get themselves to that half a million dollar prize. You may have that tent, but you're all alone. Us here at the guys' camp, we still got two, so we could always be socializing. And by challenge three, she's going to want to leave. For sure, bro. It was a pleasure being around Julia. Having such a lovely human to interact with got me spoiled, honestly. But it wasn't just camaraderie that was keeping the boys going. About to go crawl dad hunting. This is where Killer Pack comes in. Need to get some food. Living off the land was going much better than expected. There we go. And that's a snapping turtle right there. But while the boys were finally thriving, Phaedra had found herself in a dark place. I do miss having some physical contact with people and like being able to give somebody a hug or just like even a handshake or a high five would do. <laughs> How about a high five? Um, At this point, Phaedra literally began talking to herself out of loneliness. However, the boys' bond was continuing to grow. Dang, dude, that's as big as you! Look at the size of that thing. Dude, that's literally five and a half feet long. Sorry, six foot five. <laughs> I'm so excited for challenge day right now. I'm hoping that we just go ahead and win. I'm ready to go home with my family. I'm ready for this to be over. We're gonna see how challenge three goes. With TJ's and Patrick's bond having grown stronger than ever, I knew exactly how to test them on the day 30 challenge. Are you gonna be the captain? I was asking around, but nobody else was here. <laughs> By default, I am the captain. Okay, <laughs> you did day 10. You did day 20. Who's going to be the day 30 captain? Patrick. Back to back. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go get that dub. All right, this time we painted a line instead of using a plant. Been a while since you saw each other. I'm really surprised to see you here, actually. Whoa. Yeah. Are you two ready to hear the challenge? Yes. Yes, sir. Here's the deal. We have the families of every Aww. single contestant <laughs> still in this challenge on the other side of the woods. And you guys have a choice to make. You can see your family or everyone in your camp can see their family. You know, I do have a son that I would really like to see. Oh. So, um, I, I'm gonna choose myself. Phaedra could have just tricked Patrick into thinking she's not the only woman left. How about you? Are you picking your camp or yourself as well? I gotta see my kids. I choose myself too. Okay. The decisions have been made. Load the helicopters and fly them out. So good to see you. See you too. Oh! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say, Mr. Beast. Beast. Challenge. Challenge. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Hey, beautiful. 
I miss my mom, and I really missed my son. My family is the main reason why I was out here, and the reason why I'm still standing here. My time had just been reset. I'll see y'all in 10 days. I'm just gonna sit here and just feel sad. I haven't felt like the best today. I've had some time to reflect on the last challenge. I'm super grateful for that experience and for having him come. But after seeing Lincoln, I really wanna go home. I'm not going anywhere. I was a little bit worried when Pat got to see his family. I'm locked and loaded for challenge four. But it just lit a fire underneath him to say, I'm gonna win this. Obviously, I've got to this point because of me trusting another person. This right here is about to prove how important a strong and good friendship is compared to doing things on your own. And although having someone by your side can ward off the boredom, being alone also does have its perks. I don't even know if I can eat this all. I literally have more food than I can eat out here. I'm not going anywhere, men's camp. <laughs> and so it was the battle of ration versus companionship. That was until the night came, and the men's camp got a surprise visit from an uninvited guest. What heck is that? There's something out there. Oh, shh, shh, shh. Stay still. When the morning came, TJ set out to investigate what exactly that noise was. Yeah, that's definitely from a bear claw. Verified by our trail cam, a bear came up right behind the men's shelter, which would be enough to scare any sane person. Last night, a bear came through camp. Awesome. And although Patrick was feeling confident about staying yesterday, I'm not going anywhere. This close encounter had him thinking otherwise today. Having just seen my family, that bear got me realizing, like, I don't do outdoors. It's like breaking news. I'm a DJ. Yo, TJ, we gotta talk about something. Yeah, what's up? Me and TJ were just speaking. The rations would make more sense if I leave so that TJ can finish this. Him saying to me, I trust you and I'm gonna leave is huge. Yes, for this is... Um, he's gonna be fine. Please, let me grab this on you. This is Patrick at Man's Camp. I am exiting the competition. On my way. And since I have Logan Paul and KSI with me, I guess I'll bring them along too. Dude, this is gorgeous. If you're gonna survive in the wilderness, this is like the environment to do it. Well, how do you know where anything is? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh no, I just saw a little fly. Uh -oh. Yo, Patrick, I got the call that you wanted to go. Yeah, I'm gonna leave him with the most amount of food. Can I see how much food you have left? Oh yeah, absolutely. Come over to our pantry. Now that he's leaving, how long do you think this food will last you? Oh, yeah. This will get me to day 60, challenge six. How long do you think the girl or girls have left? By challenge five, it's gonna be over. No shot. She already has 13 days in isolation, and I'm just starting at one. We have the advantage. I am alone! So with both camps now down to one remaining survivor, it was all up to TJ and Phaedra to fight the isolation and win their team 500 grand. And while TJ was hunting animals to make up for his dwindling rations, Big belly. Phaedra was hunting them to keep as pets. Little Princess Shirley. Neither TJ or Phaedra were showing any signs of giving up, which brought them all the way to day 40, also known as another challenge. Welcome back, it's been 10 days. Hi. Dude, it's awesome that you spent this time alone, but how do you logically plan to beat me? Because we have enough rations to last us 80 days, so I don't have responsibilities back home. And then on top of that, we're having fun at camp. There's nothing to do. I don't like to get ahead of myself and be like, yeah, I got 90 days, I've got this in the bag, because like when you start to get arrogant. But in 20 days, 30 days, do you really want to be here? What about Lincoln? I don't really think you should use people's children's names as weapons against them. That's not appropriate. I will use whatever weapon I can. It's getting intense. How you decide to treat me has no factor on how long I decide to stay out here. Likewise. Well, time for our day 40 challenge. Both of you will be presented with a survival item. If you want it, then simply write it down on your board and you'll keep it. However, if both of you write it down, neither of you will get it. That means that you'll have to try to convince each other to actually let you keep an item. And for our first item, we have a fishing pole and all the bait you could ever need. Can one of you give up an item without guaranteed receiving something in return? They both wrote fishing rod. We're not off to a good start. Our next item 
is Dude Wipes. Who helped me pay for the video? Dude Wipes are flushable, disposable wet wipes made from 99% plant-based materials and water. Ooh, very refreshing. It's time for what might be the most important vote of your life. Not only are they better than toilet paper, but Dude Wipes also work well for showering, which these two could use. He wrote Dude Wipes, and she wrote... Okay. Whoa! Congratulations, here you go. Woo! I got Dude Wipes! Item number three is more Dude Wipes. Because they're the sponsor of the video. What do you think of the dude wipe? I mean, it's working. Yeah, it's working amazing. It's time to vote. Did you write anything? He did not. All right, here's your dude wipe. Yay. And if you want to be like these two and try dude wipes for yourself, just go to Walmart, Amazon, or basically anywhere you shop at. They sell them there. Stop using normal toilet paper. That's for losers. Getting to clean themselves after over a month was a real boost. And at this point, either one of them can win it for their team. But thanks to the girls' strategy of intentionally eliminating most of their team early on, Phaedra was not worried about food at all. They say, oh, how much gas do you have in the tank? And truly, my answer is until they decide they don't want to be here anymore. As the days passed, TJ was getting more confident he would win it for the boys. I'm just so set on this ending Challenge 5. I'll be heavily surprised if this goes past Challenge 5. Everything in my heart, soul, mind is saying Challenge 5. Even though it's come down to a 1v1, both TJ and Phaedra are fighting to win their team this $500,000. And as for TJ, a victory couldn't come soon enough. I'm gonna have a double portion of rice. Just make sure that I'm going to have a fantastic winning day of day 50. And now it is time to put all that talk to the test and see if our day 50 challenge will really be in TJ's favor. Contestants, come on in, come on in. I couldn't make day 50 because I'm currently spending seven days in a cave. So I'm hologramming in. How's the cave? Oh my God, this is insane. It's pretty brutal, not gonna lie. You guys haven't seen each other in a while. You wanna talk? All right. What do you two think the day 50 challenge is? I have no idea. I see a container that says supplies on it. For day 50, we're gonna celebrate and you both get feastable. Oh, yeah! yeah! Well, little did they know, there was a twist coming. You each get a multi-pack of chocolate. That's so nice, yay! Feastables are available at Walmart, Albertsons, and Kroger's nationwide. Go buy Feastables and see if you like the taste. That's it. You can go back to your camps. Enjoy your chocolate or save it. Yay! See you on day 60. Are they far away? Yeah. Okay, what they don't know, Chandler, is inside one of those chocolate bars is a message that tells them to come back to the middle to get three days worth of food. You show the viewers the food. Let's see who finds the message first and wins that food. I'll see you in a couple days, Chandler. I love you. Wait, say it back. He didn't say it. Challenge five, we finally got our Feastables. These are chocolate. Chocolate will melt. So I need to find the best way to store these. I think I might just open another one, because honestly, I know that seems excessive, but it's my win. Have one square after every meal. That should last me throughout the rest of the competition. My mental health right now after challenge five is through the roof. While TJ was feeling confident, he was so strict on rationing that he barely made a dent in the feastables. I feel like I'm better rationing my chocolate, because that's a better commodity. So I know I have to save it. And save it he did. TJ went the next three days without touching a single piece of chocolate. Then, on day 57, he found his favorite flavor. Our peanut butter feastable. Whoa, wait, what? There's something on the back. If you are reading this, there is three days worth of food on the bridge for the first person to grab it. Good luck. Peaceful. You'll have to wait. Let's go. Three days worth of food is so much. Let's go. I don't see her. This might be a man victory. Looks to be. She already got it. Dang. Phaedra actually beat out TJ because just four days ago, this happened. Three days worth of food. Oh, sh. It's still here, people. Wow, you guys. Feels really good to win this. Dang, Phaedra's not even here to gloat about it. I just feel so sad now. I ran for nothing. Feels like I've been here for nothing. If TJ isn't careful, that feeling could quickly become a reality. One of these contestants will win their team $500,000, while the other will have spent months in the wilderness and potentially go home with nothing. I can't live off the land because it'll take too many calories, and it's not even a guarantee every day. Uh, we just killed the last of our egg scramble. It has been difficult for me to be alone out here 
here. Every day is hard and it's kind of taking its toll on me. It is night 59. I will run out of rations tomorrow. I am praying that the prize for tomorrow is more rations. I don't want to give up just yet. It's time for the day 60 challenge. So you guys met on day 40, day 50, and once again on day 60, it's the two of you. How is the three days of extra rations? I was gonna ask you, how is your candy bars? <laughs> yeah, how are you feeling? You got 10 days left in you? Oh, I got 10 days left in me. The Day 60 Challenge is simple. Both of you will write down anything you want. You'll then show each other what you wrote. And if you approve of each other's items, you can have both of them. But if just one of you says no, you both get nothing. You can ask for a lot, and there's a high chance she says no, or you could ask for a little and potentially get it. Do you have what you want written down? I do. Do you have what you want written down? Yes. Three, two, one, reveal! Phaedra wants an art kit. And TJ wants a private chef for seven days, two meals a day, fully equipped with spices and food. Do you approve her getting an art kit? Oh yeah. TJ approved you getting an art kit. So, so nice. Do you approve his private chef for seven days, two meals a day with spices? I will run out of rations tomorrow. Oh man, I would love to, but I can. I'm gonna have to say no on that. Yeah, what? <laughs> You were that too greedy. Little... That was day 60. You're free to talk as much as you want. Good luck in the next 10 days. See you day 70? Yeah. All right. All right. Bye. See ya. <laughs> For me, the physical aspects of things out here are not the problem. It's the mental things. There goes that idea. I had everyone's hopes and dreams on my back. I think I'm going to have to put that stone down. I want to go home so badly. I've just been out here for so long. I just received a radio call saying someone wanted to leave. The person leaving is waiting in the vehicle. Bring out the team! Each contestant here is about to find out if their team just won half a million dollars. Will it be the men or the women? The contestant who forfeited will now reveal themselves. The boys lost and the girls won! <laughs> We didn't want you guys to go home empty handed, so we're gonna give each of you 10 grand for at least competing. Phaedra is still alone at the girls' camp and has no idea she's just won. <sighs> Phaedra, are you here? You're back. Yeah, come with me real quick. I found this backpack and I was curious if it was it yours. Might be. Uh, that was actually a lot. You just won! Hey, help! You did it! I really missed first. I saw you guys every day. You did it though. Yeah. You did it. You did it. You all just won $100,000 each. Maybe next time, boys. We did!